Eric Schex is a little young to have dressed the Sun King, but he has caught up with the last 30 years with heads of state and an empress. For three decades, he has been working on Rue Florentin, a period during which he has been able to forge an image and a style of his own. The style is pretty clean. A woman can go to the office like that in the day. She puts on an accessory, a necklace, a nice pair of shoes to go to a cocktail at night, and it's good. It's an ensemble, of course, that's a little sophisticated, since you call on a designer who'll create something special for you. That's a bit original. That's what you have behind me. That has the appearance of a skirt in front, but when you turn it round, it's actually a pair of shorts. And at the top, it's a sweater with just two fox cuffs. You can wear it with or without the cuffs. You have trousers jackets, but always with a little accessory that makes you stand out from the others. We do a lot of custom orders. 90% of our work is devoted to tailor-made. Based in Paris, Eric Schex has chosen to gear towards a clientele that is almost exclusively international. English, American, Middle Eastern and more recently African, a continent where his notoriety has taken serious flight the day he decided to refresh the image of the African loincloth. What clients love about me is the fact I bring a French touch, a Parisian touch. The current fashion has a lot of fringes, so why not introduce the fringe into African ethnicity and in their clothing to give it something else, like lace, for example, that you see on this model. With Eric Schex, everything is made in-house. Just climb one floor for a better understanding. Here's the cut, my universe. It's here I work to prepare orders for my clients, like you can see here. Drawing, patronage, cutting, sewing and retouching, it's here, in these workshops, that the most beautiful creations of the designer come to life. To add a personal touch to their ensemble, Eric Schech's clients very often opt for one of the jewellery pieces of the house, most of them listed in this magnificent work prefaced by Farah Diba herself, a faithful fashion designer, former empress and last wife of the Shah of Iran.